Hi there once again and welcome back to another tutorial here at Rachel Productions. This of course will be the last in the series volumetric light from a window and we're working with Blender Cycles 2.71 of course. Um, as you know we finished off with the uh, scene here with the window and the light rays coming through. What I want to do now is to bring the plant into position so I'm just going to uh, select shift G and G to select it, sorry, and I'm going to just move it up there um, just to bring it into position. Rotate around Z, thank you very much. Okay, uh, that should be fine. Now, the, uh, the plant is a little bit um, too bright. We want it more silhouetted in the light um, uh, coming out from the window. Um, so let's just uh, have a look here what we can do. Um, you'll remember we can adjust the uh, brightness here with the volume absorption uh, node which we've uh, mixed in here with the diffuse. This is just a uh, textured image onto the plant. Um, so let's just do that. What we'll do is we'll just increase this here and um, that will give us a little bit more of a darkened uh, silhouetted plant there. This uh, plant uh, um, doesn't have any veins or anything uh, modeled into it or, or textured into it so you won't actually see the veins of that leaf uh, with the light coming through but we would want that light to be looking more uh, you know coming through that plant there to be a bit more transparent or translucent so what we're going to do is um, we're going to just add a few more mix shaders. We'll just duplicate them. We'll just uh, pop those in there. Um, I'll pop it over here. And then this one I'm going to move over here. Plug it into there. We'll leave the volume absorption shader there for now. And um, I'm going to add two other shaders. Uh, that'll be the transparent and we'll add a um, translucent shader and we'll mix these two in here I just find um, it works quite well when you use the two together um, I think we'll just um, leave it more or less there and uh, what we can do now is just to fiddle around uh, with these settings. So I'm going to put it at what I had it at when I did this as a test run. And I'm going to bring this all the way down to say somewhere around here. Okay. Um, and then now to darken this again, what we can do is we'll set the green color. Um, somewhere around there right? and we'll put, give this translucency also some green but we won't make it as dark, I'll just make it about there somewhere alright as I said of course this plant doesn't have any veins in it so it's not going to look very realistic but at least uh, this shows you how you can um, uh, fiddle with the um, node editor and, and create some transparency there um, it may probably be a bit too much and you may want some more translucency and um, I think about 0.95 somewhere around there so you can just have a look and fiddle around with these settings see what works best for you even the translucent uh, transparency you can dim that down and make it a bit more gray perhaps you know there's different ways of um, adjusting to get the desired um, result. Now that we've done that, um, there's just one other thing. If you want to get a little fancy, you can actually add in another ray with a slightly different color or brightness just to give it a little bit of a, a reality of another light beam that is a stray light beam, for instance, let's say. So what you can do is just scale this down and then scale on the Z, right? Um, and you can just place this beam within the window of course but uh, re uh, rotate it uh, let me just go put my mouse there and we'll use the cursor we just rotate it a little bit so that it's coming out from there but we need to just give that a different material separate and then you can just uh, make that yellow 
can brighten that up a bit, whatever. Do I, I don't really want this here. I'm just showing you that you can do that. Um, just fiddle around with that. One thing I need to do now is just to um, uh, select the image of the outdoor, the, the outdoor image, which we have called outdoor image. Okay, and um, let's bring up the camera. Now, um, we also just want to set the camera to have a focus depth of field, and then we can set that to the to that uh, image there, the outdoor image. So the camera will be focused on that. Everything else from there on will become blurred in the foreground with the plant obviously being closest and therefore the most blurred. We're going to select the aperture type here and just bring that down a bit and see how that starts to look. Okay, and I'm going to bring it quite a bit blurred, uh, not too much, it's just, yeah. Okay, that should be fine. The other thing that I want to do is explain to you now, um, let me just uh, make this the active element. When the camera moves into direct view so that the ray is head on with the camera, um, you're going to notice that there's a problem. So if you were to do a fly through where your camera was to come into view here, you're going to notice this here. I'm just going to turn off the um, um, f-stop for now you can see that there is this very very uh, distinct uh, margin here that isn't um, showing the ray. Okay, the easiest way to sort this problem out okay, is to go into um, edit mode, select vertices and deselect everything. We're just going to select the bottom here. If you remember the bottom um, was open so this basically is a tube that we created what I'm going to do is fill it now I'm going to press F so basically it has a face there and you can see that all you have to do is to grab this and bring it up so that it's just within the apex or just before the apex of the camera there with the camera in uh, just in front of the camera in other words and then um, just adjust it till that disappears okay and there you go